All right, hey guys, how are you doing? I know it's been a while, but we've had to take a little bit of a break and step back for a little bit. Because one thing I started to notice is when I was looking at some of the footage, it's starting to look a little uh, boring. Quite boring, actually. A lot of it was just done over stuff all over again. Except for hurricane time and that was just a freak anomaly that it was just horrible that happened to Central Florida. But as far as the other stuff goes, Disney. Well, let's face it. Disney's gotten a little boring lately. If you go to Hollywood Studios, for instance, there's like nothing to do there. Except for very little. Sure, there's Rock and Roller Coaster, Tower of Terror. Except for that, that's about it. When it comes to Epcot, well, the only thing there that we haven't done yet, and I went to some time, is Test Track. So the issue is, uh, is that I want to do it so badly. But a lot of times, when Tiffany's with me, sometimes our heart acts up and other issues, so we don't really get to go on it. And that's been quite a bummer. So, I plan on getting out there and doing that. Other than that, like Universal, <laughs> Universal is just way beyond me in general. Because honestly, I'm not a big fan of like fast paced roll rides and stuff. So that was kind of boring to me. And in all honesty, it was actually a little bit of a waste of money. Because it was like $1,000, I think, for us for the year tickets weren't really that much fun to begin with. Now, a couple of weeks ago, or three weeks ago, I saw a comment from one of the people, okay? And it was about the YouTube video where we went up to Daytona Beach, titled Avoiding Homeless People in Daytona or something like that. And he said that it was terrible, or it was horrible. I actually wanted to say something about that, okay? In the description, okay? Because I asked him about what he didn't like. He said that he thought that we were snobbish when it came to it. Well, let's go sit down for a second, okay? And then we'll continue this. Wow, they need to like clean up the pool a little bit. It's got a lot of leaves and debris in there. Okay. Now that we can sit down a little bit, okay? So here's the thing. When we did that video, okay? It wasn't really to be snobbish at all, okay? And I'm sorry if you felt that way. I've been down here in Central Florida since 1992. And throughout the time, I've been all over just about. Except Miami. Hmm. Can I get down there sometime? But, besides that point, okay? I actually remember Daytona Beach from its original days. From way, way, way back. When it was actually a lot of fun and there was a lot to do over there. But when we went last time, it really did. It felt miserable. Felt like a relic of something it used to be. And I honestly wish that they would actually bring it back to the way it used to be. Because Daytona used to be amazing. It really did. It was a lot of fun way back. And I loved it back then. I loved the old pier. Everything. But now there's just nothing left. It's boring to be honest. And when I say about other beaches like Virginia, it's because there's still so much life up there in those beaches. I just didn't get that feeling when we went to Daytona. So I'm sorry if I offended you. I really am in all honesty because that wasn't my intention at all. You see, I don't like to offend people when it comes to places where we visit. I like to go to places 
and especially the ones where I went as a child, and I like to reflect on them now and see how they've changed. Disney, for instance. Disney's a great example. When I went to Hollywood Studios as a child, I loved it. I love the awesome architecture style, the colors, everything. When I went to Epcot as a child, I loved it even more because I loved the Future World Park. In fact, that's why I got so passionate about technology. It was because it excited me of what it could be in the future. And here I am in 2017 and I see all this stuff that the kids nowadays that are born now take for granted, like cell phones for crying me sake. When I was in high school, I still had a flip phone and it was really cool. And I actually loved that little sucker, the little Verizon flip phone. And I also had a Nokia brick. And if you're wondering why it's called a brick, kids, it's because no matter how many times you dropped it, that sucker would still work. And you didn't need a special $100 case. Try that with an iPhone and you'll be disappointed. <clears throat> but back to what we got coming up, okay? In the coming weeks, okay, we're going to do some more fun stuff at Disney, of course, okay? We're going to try to do a few more things at Universal, but I really want to get those suggestions from you guys on what else is there to do in Central Florida. We have grown to 91 subscribers, over 35,000 views, 35,000 and change, and in over 48 hours, we hit like 260 views. Now, some people would say, well, Ryan, 260 views, that's nothing. Um, some subscribe, some people even get that in one video. Why are you making a big deal of it? Well, the reason why is because every single view is important to me. That's how I honestly feel. I feel like if you're taking the time to watch my video, then that's really awesome. And what I want to do is I want to start contributing more. So, starting today, like, October 11th or October 12th. I forget what today's day actually was. Sorry about that. But we're going to start trying to upload videos more frequently. Instead of like once or twice a week, we're going to try doing it a little bit more. But, we can't really get to a lot of places because of costs and everything. And my work schedule. However, we're going to give you guys a little bit more peek into our life. Yeah, I know, it's a little crazy, okay? Like, quite often, we have to go to downtown Orlando for trips to doctors, you know, and other places. So we're gonna try to get a little bit more of that squeezed in. And I hope that you guys still wanna come along for that ride. And if you're only here for like the Disney and Universal, that's cool too, okay? So don't worry, we're not gonna like say, oh, I'll forget Disney. No. Now, I'm still going to be getting back out to Disney. And in fact, when it comes to Universal, I actually have a couple ideas up my sleeve. And I'm going to be partnering with other people too. Tiffany, I love her to death. She's great with me. But I want to get more people in on this too. Because one of the other things that the commenter said was about the editing was bad. Well, keep in mind, that was quite a bit ago, but still. I want to partner with other people that can give me editing suggestions and tips, too. So, I'm opening the channel up. So, if you have any suggestions, if you know some cool stuff that I don't, don't be afraid to message us. Message me and let me know this stuff, so that way we can incorporate it. Because look, we invest a lot of money into awesome technology and equipment. Okay, whether it's the T6i camera we use currently, the DSC HX80, little point and shoot camera with flip up screen, or GoPro for the action shots. Or just our simple iPhones, you know? And we also have all the computers for editing, we have all that 
But here's the thing. You can take the best equipment in the world. If it's in the hands of somebody who's not fully skilled and trained, you're not going to be able to do much with it. Instead, they'll just sit there and depreciate and just waste away. However, if you give it to somebody that knows a little something, that's willing to learn, guess what? Something great can come out of it. And that's why I'm inviting everybody that subscribes to the channel that knows a little something more Write us in, tell us what you would tweak here and there. And then we can make those changes in the next video. Because we're going to be pumping out a lot more content. And we're going to be paying more attention again to you guys. I personally am sorry for the lack of recent content since the hurricane stuff. And since we went to Animal Kingdom. But it's time to get back out there. It's time to get that passion and love back. I've always had it, but for a while, I might was focused on a little bit of other things too. And we'll save that for a whole nother day. Okay, but for now, I think it's time that we go ahead and get ready to end this. But we've had some good times. Let's take a look back at those for a quick second, okay? It's okay, you can go. <laughs>
All right, so I think I just showed like the Georgia trip that was really awesome. There was also the St. Augustine trip, although I believe in all honesty, St. Augustine is cursed. Because every time I go up to St. Augustine, something bad happens. The first time, I brought back Hurricane Matthew. And it also rained and was just horrible that day that we were up there. However, when I came back, I did get a job working at Target, so that was awesome. Now I'm back in the electronics area, selling cameras to people and all that cool stuff, so I love it. Now, the second time we went up to St. Augustine was actually when we had the accident on I-4 with that piece of road debris. I'm going to take a watch at that clip real quick. It looks like smoke. Yeah, I know. Something's wrong. So, get over, get over, get over. Get over. Man, that was so freaking scary. It was unbelievable. It worked out in the end. Because, yeah, well, my beautiful black car is gone. I do have a pretty cool new car now. And I had to suffer with those rental cars that were plain horrible. But, that worked out okay. So, despite all the bad like the car accident and everything. There was also a lot of good too. They came to ride the mine train for the first time. Riding the mine train, as you just saw, that was really fun and really exciting. And it was like my first roller coaster in forever since, I want to say, 8th grade when I did the Incredible Hulk at Lakeview Middle School. Alright, don't try to calculate my age or anything, okay? It's not going to work so well for you. I'm 32. Yeah. I'm getting old, I know. But, it's cool. So yeah, we've had great times, we had ups and downs along this video channel. But you know what's really cool though? Is that I recognize some of your subscriber names from the very first, from when I first started. You guys are still there. That's what I love. And honestly, I'm going to keep creating these videos. We're going to pump more content out. And it's going to get a hell of a lot better. Now, one thing I wanted to find out, okay? As far as Adobe After Effects, okay? I saw that with Adobe CC, okay? Creative Cloud, that I can add that to my account. My question to you guys, is it worth it? Because I saw you can do like some advanced animation and stuff, but we don't really do too much animation at all. And since we're more for travel oriented and we're not trying to create hoax videos and stuff, is it actually worth it or should I just stick with what we have now which is Premiere Pro and Photoshop? Okay, so let me know on that one especially, okay? Alright guys, well, I gotta get ready, head back to the house. Yeah, I'm over at the pool side right now, just chilling. Getting this done for you guys. And then we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go to work today. Tip's gonna get Lily from the bus. All right, so you guys enjoy. I love each and every one of you and thank you for sticking with me. And my latest subscribers, welcome to the family. I think that you guys will be really happy. Just try not to look too much into the past videos. We had this annoying song at the beginning of them, and in retrospect, that was horrible. But I think it was because I wanted it to be a proprietary song, but still. Alright, thanks guys.
I'll talk to you later. Enjoy. And more than likely, I'll see you like tomorrow, the next day. Okay. Um, Friday. Friday, I open. So I'm like 8 to 4.30. And then Saturday, I'm like a mid. I think next week, I have like Monday off. So Monday, we might go out and do something. We'll see how that goes, okay? Alright guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye, and remember, try to enjoy everything you can. You never know how much it's left of. Bye.